And here we go in three, two, one. So if this makes it into SGDQ, what will most likely happen is I will be talking about the origin of the game, like how it came to be in about 2008 for the Nokia N-Gage service. This sort of stuff here. They say to showcase the best run, so I'm going to try and aim for a sub-16. If I could get a world record and submit that to SGDQ, that'd be great. <laughs> oh yeah totally canon Hideo Kojima doesn't supervise sh sh anything unless it's you know got some port of some sort of importance in the lore I'd also end up talking about how this game has to be played on the phone. You cannot emulate it. And then the interference here is the only other... Like, this is a sort of feature exclusive to this. I'm good, thanks. <laughs> Make a joke about how that one guard couldn't see me, but this guard could. Then we're going to um, run by this guard. And then, of course, there's a lot of downtime where donations could be read out. Like, we won't have to worry about the next donation. We, we, we wouldn't have to stop the donations until I mentioned that we're getting close to Interference 2. Or the zombie snake glitches. half here to get by the camera and then this is one of those spots where you have where it you have to have a point to go prone 
And then here, I'm going to press my 9 key and my forward key up here because it separates my fingers but allows me to do quick jolted turns, if that makes sense, to try and trigger the loading zone for the sleeping quarters sooner rather than later. And then there's other things that I could agree to as well, like I could agree to donate X amount for a specific thing being met. shot the golden line with this room is to have the guard run past you instead of turning to shoot if he turns he's shooting you and that's a waste of time and then in this next room the only way to avoid getting shot is to get spotted in that initial room but getting spotted in that initial room triggers more shots than it's really not worth it i'd rather take the potential one and the guaranteed one of that room instead of the full three i think in the initial room but i'm not sure I haven't done enough experimentation with that room to figure out what the least optimal route is. All I know is getting shot is the least optimal route. And now we're at this node, but we're about to get locked into the room. And we're going to get a codec call in a little bit that will actually trigger interference too. And as soon as that's completed... That's this one here. And now we wait, and this is a golden opportunity for donation reading. And now he's going to see that we're not in the room. We're going to run out. Get spotted by him, but we aren't going to let it trigger an alert because it's going to say intruder alert, but he's not going to get the backup confirmation received sort of thing, so that won't trigger an alert.
We're going to get shot here. I could throw a chaff grenade and run by it, but I'm pretty sure taking the shots are faster. the elevator codec. It's one of the more useless conversations in the in the game. They could have literally waited until the end like until that point to have that exact conversation. Instead they decided to delay a loading zone. We're going to equip the stealth camo, take a picture of that guy's head, throw our last chaff grenade, run by, and avoid getting shot. And then, of course, I'm not sure which one I would use, which zombie snake I would use to explain the zombie snake glitch. I would personally feel more comfortable explaining it during the hallway fight, but that's just me. Uh, but we could probably very easily explain after zombie snake one. And the brief explanation of it is that the game doesn't think you, or the game is programmed that you shouldn't be able to open up the, open up a menu at the same time that you die. So by opening the menu and using a ration, At the time the C4 goes off, it's supposed to trigger a death loop for Snake, hence why the screen goes blank white and you can't see anything. But if you have health in your health bar, the game can't register Snake as dying. Which is why if you have the 
equipment menu opened at the same time as the C4 goes off, and you use a ration, it'll still go through with the white screen, but you you just can't see where you're going, but you can still move around because the game is supposed to believe that Snake is dead. The importance of the glitch is it skips picking up the Nikita missile launcher. Because normally after you would after you use a after you do the third interference minigame, you have to go back to the armory, grab the Nikita missile launcher, and then blow up the three little give me one second you'd normally have to blow up the three little c4 receptors or sensors in that area but by using the zombie snake glitch we can walk right by and not have to go and dismantle them. Optimal. Might save me half a second. And now we menu ration there and Why can I not get by that codec anymore? What on earth is going on? If you're fast enough, you can run right through the door and get by that codec. Not have to stop for it. And that's the third and quickest zombie snake right there. That is the slowest I've ever done the hallway fight. There's another codec that I have to skip up here in this elevator. And then time will be as soon as it says simulation end. I don't know why I did that. Waste of a chaff.
Throw the chaff grenade, for the love of... This run isn't getting submitted. And as soon as it says simulation end... Or is it? <laughs> okay, so, yeah. That run's getting submitted. No exceptions. That's it. That's the run I need right there, because that is... That is a 1601, and I think it's slightly better than my RTA of my first sub, or my first 1601. I'm not sure, though, but yeah, that's, that's awesome. Top notch. Top-notch indeed. Uh -huh.